Investigators have narrowed the possible cause of the EMS ambulance fire that killed a patient, but why it went up in flames is still unknown. EMS says there was a loud pop when the patient's breathing device was connected to a portable oxygen tank, and that's when the flames erupted. Manolo Morales has more. The fire occurred last month as the ambulance was transporting 91-year-old Fred Kaneshiro to Adventist Health Castle Hospital. Investigators say Kaneshiro was wearing a CPAP to help him breathe, which is connected to a large oxygen tank connected to the wall of the ambulance. Emergency Services Director Dr. James Ireland says the paramedic disconnected the CPAP in order to connect it to a smaller portable oxygen tank as they approached the hospital. There was a sound described as a pop followed by a bright flash of light with the back of the ambulance immediately filling with smoke and fire. Ireland says the investigation is now focused on the portable oxygen tank and the regulator. How either of these devices ignited is still unknown. Investigators were able to talk to paramedic Jeff Wilkinson, who is still recovering in the hospital, and the EMT who was driving the ambulance. He adds that EMS crews use the CPAP and oxygen regularly and there's no indication that anyone did anything wrong. Dr. Ireland points out that these findings are still preliminary, so at this point, EMS is not making any major changes with safety protocols. We don't have a final result and an actual cause of the incident within the regulator oxygen tank mechanism. Um, I don't, I don't want to you know, jump the gun, but I think reviewing just the safe oxygen handling policies is, is what we're doing now. Ireland says crews inspect the equipment in the ambulance daily and a separate company that supplies the oxygen inspects the tanks. He adds that the three ambulances that have been put out of service will stay out of service. As for Wilkinson, Ireland says he was able to visit the paramedic who is now out of intensive care. It was an emotional meeting for me, um, but I'm just so happy that he is improving and he's so grateful. You know, we had calls and well wishes from around the country, I think even a few outside of our country. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.